Hello, children. It is me again. I'm playing my piano. It helps me focus. I've tried this many times, many, many times, with lots of cursing. But when my piano is playing, I'm calm. I'm a nice person. I'm a nice teacher. I'm your teacher. And here we go. We're gonna take this guy's head off. We're gonna make a gif. We're a jiff. In a jiffy. I'll stop. Anyway, first thing you gotta remember to do is you gotta copy and duplicate this layer. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate that layer. There you go. Boom, duplicated. We're gonna call the one on the bottom, the base, okay? And then we're gonna start by uh, chopping his head off. So, but first we have to select him. Very important step, don't forget to duplicate this layer. And we get our, whatchamacallit, whatever that is, the quick selection tool, and I'm gonna quickly select his head. Going, don't forget his hair. I'm sure he'd be very upset if I took his hair off. So we get this all selected. And don't forget his ear and the rest of his hair again. Boom, there it is. Some little pieces missing. Make sure you get it all. Ah, <sighs> such nice music. Okay, so. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use, under view, we're gonna have rulers checked. As you can see here, they're gone, because I had them checked before. Let's go back and check them, and there's rulers. We're now going to take, if you go up to the rulers, hello, this is my cat Milo, screaming in the background. And you make, I know Milo. Okay, I've made a, um, a guideline, okay? And now, what I'm going to do, there's, I'm gonna do two things with this. First, we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of all the stuff at the bottom. So here's how we do it. We take the um, marquee tool, I hold down option, and I go over everything using the line to kind of keep it all even. Okay, I know where it's cut off. Now, we're going to copy and paste the skull. And there it is. You can see it right there. It's like, check the eyes. And, um, and now, I'm just gonna label them, because it's good to label. Head, body. Okay, there we go. Now we're labeled. Now. It's important though, because we, when we click off the eyeball, nothing changes. So if we move the head, you're not gonna see any change. You're gonna see another, another. it'll be like a duplicate head. We don't want that. So what we need to do is we need to use a piece of the background to cover our second layer, which says body. So you'll see, I'm gonna go like this and see it stops on the line, which is kind of nice. I'm using this side because I know it works better than the other side. So I'm going to go Command, am I in the right layer? Yes, I am. Command C, Command V, and I'm going to slide this over. Now it doesn't seem like much until I get rid of that. Now you can see what I'm doing. So you have to kind of hide the uh, top of the head. Make sure it lines up. And then I'm going to duplicate it by holding down Option and pulling this over. And I'm going to leave it overlapping, okay? So I'm overlapping like that. Now I have some concern that I might have missed the, the line and I did, so I zoomed in. I'm gonna use my let's see how I did. Yep, did okay. Okay, so now we have to um, erase and I'm going to take my eraser, make sure it's a fuzzy eraser. And I'm just gonna erase the edge on both sides here. Now it's very important that the body have, this all has to be merged into one. 
Okay, so I'm holding down shift and I'm selecting those and then I'm going to merge layers, which is command E, just so you know. And I'm going to rename this again body because it changed. Okay, so now we have the body and the head. Now we can start animating. So it's very important to have your base that forms the background. So basically, um, when we start to lift the head, we see everything underneath it. Okay, so we're up at this part, the head, and we hit Command T. Now, I don't know if you guys have used this. This is a hinge. If you put it down here, the whole thing will move on a hinge, okay, from that point. And you can start by just moving it up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Hit OK. All right, now here's the pattern that you're going to have to get used to doing with this. Sorry, I'm just drinking. No, I'm not that kind of drinking. It's tea. Just regular tea. Okay. Now, we take these two. The first thing you're going to be doing, okay, it's you change something, you affect, so you affect a change, then you're going to duplicate the change layers, then you're going to hide the new layers that you've duplicated, and then you're going to go back to the layers that you did before and merge them, the ones underneath. It's easier to see. I'll show it to you. Watch. I've got these two layers here. I've just affected a change. I've moved him. Now I highlight this and I want to duplicate these two layers. So I go up here, duplicate layers. Okay, so now these two, so we've just gone to the second stage. Went from change, duplicate. Now we hide the new ones. Okay, we don't see them anymore. And these two now can be merged, the ones that we moved originally. Command E does a nice job, boom. And now we go back up to here. Now it's change again. So now we're gonna go Command T. Oops, we're on the right layer. Oh, it's not visible. Won't work if it's not visible. Command T, we're gonna bring this down and put it back in the corner here. Move it up a little more. Hit OK, you've affected a change now. So now we have to copy those changed layers. Do you understand the pattern so far? Change the layers and select them and duplicate them. Okay. Then you hide them. And then you go back down to these guys, which is the original layers you just changed and command E merge them. Now you make these visible again. And we are going to affect a change. Okay, so Command T. Now, as you, one of the things that happens is if you keep putting it in the same spot, like if I put it here, look what happens. It starts to go off the body. You know, it's it's hinged out in space over there. So I'm just going to hit No because I don't want to. I want to get it back to where it originally was. Command T, and I'm going to move it down right here, a little bit on the hair. So, it, whoops. Hit Command Z to get rid of that thing. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, move it up a little bit more. Good. Hit OK. We've affected a change. All right. So now we have these two layers now have been changed. So now they have to be duplicated. So I duplicate the layers. Okay. And then I'm going to hide the two new ones and go back down to these two. Okay. These are the ones I did just change a little, you know, 30 seconds ago. Command E. It'll now merge them. And now I go to these, I make them visible again. And I go Command T. Bring this down. All right, so here's where it gets even a little bit more. Okay, I'm moving it up a little more and I'm saying, okay, great. That's a good change, but now I need to do some more to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get another photo file. 
open let's see let's just go to open and I'll open this guy okay so this is the smaller head that I want so I'm just gonna grab his face here this is the angry head that pops out copy go to here paste that's too big so you're gonna have to shrink it down and it's got to go behind his head so here's here's what you're going to have to do to make this work um, I'm gonna shrink him down a little bit more just because I want him he's funnier when he's smaller um, okay that's good Hit okay so I'm gonna label this one angry spell it right yeah, I did okay and on so I've got the head I've got the body copy um, three right there it is. okay so now I'm gonna have to copy the face so I'm gonna go to my last kind of full thing I'm just these are in the way so I want to get rid of them I just need this part of the body right here so again I'm just gonna take this part with the uh, where it stops with the skull it's an important thing to do Oops. okay get the rest of that get the ear okay that's good look at the shoulders for just good measure not that i need them perfect i just want the top of the head here okay so i'm gonna hit command c and command v and now when I put this guy, the angry guy, underneath this layer, there he is. And he moves up and down. Hello. There he goes. So we're going to start by introducing the top of his head there. And I'm not going to be moving this anymore. Only going to be moving him. But here's the deal. Every time you introduce, if I have like sparks shooting out of his head or something, that's more layers. And there'll be... You know, we've got our first one, second one, third one, fourth one. So it went from being two layers to four layers. So it doesn't matter. You still have to duplicate those four layers. It gets a little confusing, but once you get into the flow of it, it becomes second nature. Um, okay, so I'm going to take these guys here because I've affected a change. I've put him behind it and this little head is popping out. And I'm going to duplicate these four. And I'm going to hide the first four. So I know this one and the next four down is my four layers. I'm going to hit Command E. Okay. And now when I put these all back again, I just now affect my change. I go down to Angry Guy. And I can even just use my, my uh, arrow keys. Hey, where's my music? That wasn't cool. Makes me nervous, guys. I don't like being without my music. Okay, so his head has now been changed. Okay, we've affected a change. And it's the first four. Okay, so I'm going to hold down, shift, select all of the new layers that I've used to change. And I'm going to duplicate them. And before you lose sight, take those first four and you just close the eyes so we don't see them then you can go to the next four hold down shift and you merge them by hitting command e there you go now we make these come back angry guy moves up a little more let's move it up get his eyes up now i'm going to take these four okay Isn't that nice I'm going to, whoops, what am I doing? Oh, we've affected a change. The next thing would be to duplicate the layers. And there I did. Now we hide them. Change, duplicate, hide, merge. Change, duplicate, hide, merge. So I've hidden them. Now I'm going to merge the four, because I know there's four. And I'll hit Command E. Boom, we're done. Go back up. Now I'm going to grab angry guy's head again make it come up even more we'll get to the end of the nose here 
I've affected the change. I'm going to select all four of those. Duplicate. Boom. Hide. Hiding is important because it just makes it easier to focus on what you, what you have to work on, which is the next four down. Okay, holding shift, I select those and command E, boom, done. Okay, now the last thing here is it's really, um, it's better sometimes to use the arrows because it doesn't shimmy. Okay, so I, I need the mouth like that and that's perfect. Okay, so I've affected change and I'm going to duplicate those four, the first four, because I know there's four layers in this. Duplicate the layers, okay. Hide them, first four. Highlight the next four. Command E, boom. Okay, so now we get these four activated. And the angry guy, now I'm just gonna start switching him around like he's gonna be looking left and right. So I'll go down to transform. I'm on the angry guy layer and I'm going to flip horizontal. So now once I've affected change, I'll go down and copy. Okay. And duplicate, not copy, highlight, duplicate, hide. And then I'm going to merge, Command E. Okay, so now, so this is, uh, let's see what we got here. When we go down like this, one, two, nope. Not this. So these two are just the same. Like, okay, that one pops up. Okay, that's this one. And he looks this way. So we want to have this kind of action going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one more. And I'm just going to take these four. Um, highlight. They have to be, you know, visible. And I'm going to change. So this is where it gets confusing. So you got to use your eyeballs to kind of make things happen. So he's looking this way okay so these two right here could be just duplicated so i think i'm going to just you know duplicate stuff i don't need these four now because he's just looking back and forth so in case i need these again for whatever reason here's a good thing to do go to image and hit duplicate and it'll make a duplicate copy of everything that's on here and then we'll go back to our original over here. In case we need those layers, they're saved. It's a really good practice, guys. Okay, so I don't, I'm gonna get rid of these. And I'm just gonna make this one, I'm gonna copy. So uh, let's duplicate layer. So I'm duplicating the one where he's looking the other way. I'm gonna drag that up over here. So now if we go one, okay. good way to check is we go all the way down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have these two, right? So when you want something like to keep going back and forth, back and forth, all you gotta do is take these guys and duplicate. Duplicate, and and you're gonna get. And it starts going back down. So if it's a repetition, sometimes there's there's a repetition, but it's not gonna be so boring. Okay, my phone is buzzing. I hate group text. Oh my god. They're usually just stupid stuff. Um, anyway, so now here's how we get our, our GIF. Okay, we're going to go up to Window and go down to Timeline. Click on that. I'm going to hit Create Frame Animation. Usually I just click on that just in case. 
Then I go over to here, which is the stripey thing. Make frames and layers. Okay, so we're gonna watch this together and we're gonna make some adjustments in the timing. So you can see when he, uh, right now it's on once, if I have it forever. This, the turning is way too quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to these where he's turned, each one of these. We gotta figure out where it starts. I think it starts at 10, nine, it starts at nine. Okay, so this one pops up and maybe he does 0.2 seconds here and maybe he does 0.1 second there. Maybe we keep this no delay. 0.2, 0.3, 5, no delay, and 0.2. So I've changed the speed, now see what happens. So that 0.5 seconds actually gives him a little bit of it if he's staring out at the, off, at the uh, audience. Um, and I can tweak it again. So I'm gonna make this one 0.5 see if that changes anything. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so once you have that done, now to make it official, you go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then you hit Save, and you title it. Uh, I'm assuming this will be okay. Let's hit Save. And then that would be it. Now I'm gonna find it on the desktop. But it's important to save the actual, this file here. So we're gonna go file, save. So that's all done. I don't need this anymore. Well, maybe I will, who knows. If you wanna start adding to it. What's great about this copy that this, uh, I did like a second copy. Um, by the way, let's get rid of these. So we're just gonna View, clear guides. What's great about this is say I wanted to add more stuff to this animation, I have it already and I can start like maybe I want like, you know, you know, sludge to come out of his head or fireworks to come out of his head or lightning or maybe his eyes start glowing. Maybe there's an explosion behind him. Whatever you want to do, this falls off. You. What's great about duplicate is that you have more, you know, like you're not like done, you know, so so it's definitely good to keep a copy. File, save as, and we're gonna go boom, boom. And I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore, and I don't need you anymore. And now comes the moment of truth. Um, this is it right here. Open up, we're gonna open up a, a browser window. Oops, come on, no, 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 I, don't, I would like to see it. I like to see it on, on a browser, I don't know why. There it is, boom, 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 boom. And there you have it. Working with multiple layers uh, can get really confusing, so it's always good to just do, make a change, duplicate all layers involved, hide the new layers, the duplicates, then take the ones that you copied and merge them. Change, duplicate, hide, merge. Change, duplicate, hide, merge. And that's that. Thank you for dealing with this long here uh, video, but I, I feel like it's clear. Hopefully it's clear. If it isn't, come to me. Good night. Good night, children. And sleep well.